Oh, there was an option to actually turn on here on the bottom music. Maybe I check that out really quick. Just briefly, because I'm kind of curious how this sounds. This also makes me happy that I ended up uh, playing near Automata before near Replicant. 1000% the right choice to do. Oh, that is near Automata. That's so cool. I'm just curious how all of this is going to sound. Um, but I know there was... A lot of things that happened last time. So... I just want to hear this for a little bit. <laughs> I, I am going to end up doing the secret stuff i guess that extra stuff first i know there's another door thing in there uh, i believe we're continuing the i think it's just the second half of the story that we're doing however we get to avoid all the side quests this time so it should be a lot quicker i'm thinking we'll be able to finish it by the end of today's stream at least get the second ending so it feels like this could be a trend of endings <laughs> Considering I'm looking at like the loading screen and everything here, what was it? Kind of, kind of like like I don't know, at least maybe three, three, four, maybe, maybe five type of endings. Seems like there's a lot. This one seems like a continuation of the second one, so we'll do that soon. I, I do want to check this out first because this is like extra stuff, and I want to finish it. The diary again? Yeah. Lately, I haven't been able to stop thinking about it. The world of the recycled vessel. Uh, that's actually kind of cool. The recycled vessel. So the game was making this play as the original main character of Nier. Uh, prior to the remake. So I I know I had this store to go through. I already did the two left ones. I'm guessing this is the last door. Maybe there'll be another one after this. The sense of something terribly sinister beyond this door. It may be difficult to endure who what awaits on the other side unless your soul is at least level 33. Am I 33? I'm level 32. I'll try it anyway. If you proceed beyond this point, you'll be un unable to save until the battle is over. That's fine. We'll give this a try. I didn't realize it'd be level 33. <laughs> well, this music hasn't changed. So long as this memory exists, so long as mankind has hope. Uh, bloody battle. Whoa. Where are we? Oh, we're outside the pier. I mean, boo. How you doing, Lang? Welcome on. I just watched a genius show and it has a terrible ending. If you don't mind me asking, what's the show? Oh god. Please don't scare me like that. My heart can only take so much. Can't say it's relative new might spoil. I would say just the show name I would be curious about. But nothing about the actual plot and everything. <laughs> but I mean, okay, I guess if you few feel comfortable keeping it to yourself, that's fine. But I am sorry for your ending. <laughs> I hope you're doing well, Ling. Outside of the terrible ending. I need to get back into watching shows again. 
My brother has been trying to get me to watch the new Mandalorian season, which I haven't gotten to watch yet. But I haven't heard positive things about it. <laughs> That's the only thing I know of. That's one see that's one show I know I need to catch get caught back up on. And I still need to get back into my anime flick. Like I, I wanna get I wanna finish up and get caught back up with Team and Slayer. Holy crap, it's a lot of bulbs. Or can I Oh crap I disabled that. Wait. Because I was watching it and I ended up finishing the Mugen train arc. I had to finish the stuff afterward. So I'm still a little behind on that. I'm constantly being told to watch Mandalorian. I'm going for a different genre right now, though. To me, I r the first two seasons are probably the best content of Star Wars I've seen in a long time. It's a, I really, I really enjoyed the first two seasons of Mandalorian. It's really good. <laughs> uh, everything outside of that. Like I've watched, I watched most of them. The only one I haven't watched yet was Andor. Or Andor, which I heard was extremely good. But I haven't watched that yet. And then I heard season three of Mandalorian, it's been okay. But I don't want to judge that until I actually watch it. But maybe it's just okay. Like, you never know. Maybe it's just not that very good. Just gonna break up all the armor that I can. But I also like to watch something that isn't really that type of show either. Like, something that might be, like, I don't know, normal ish. <laughs> just like a normal show. I do want to watch that one show with, uh, what's his name? Chris O... Chris o Odo. I forgot how to say his last name. The guy that was from IT Crowd. He has that new show that came out that I saw last week. Or heard about last week. It looks really entertaining. I want to watch that one. Now I'm, sh I'm struggling to remember the name of it. <laughs> Put it in my Discord remember that because I would like to remember that show yeah oh yeah I, I just showed you MJ uh, the big door prize with Chris Odo Odo I think is how you say his last name it was an IT crowd he was hilarious and I watched a trailer for that and I was like it seems like the, a perfect amount of comedy mixed with drama like he does that, I feel like he would do that blend very well. The show, the trailer looked interesting, so I was like very curious. I am sad it's only on the Apple, Apple TV. I'll figure out a way to watch it. I would like to. I think that would be a show I would really like to see. That's what she said. I said it. <laughs> How dare you. Uh, don't even know the context of the show. Next up, I'll rewatch Yaka, Yakamo's. I'm not familiar with that. What is that? It's like, is that like a normal show? Or is that more like anime? I'm curious. Yeah, the big door prize I would like to check out. Foolish human, foolish human, foolish human, foolish human vessel. Kind of a spinoff show where the sun ray is deadly. Interesting. Is that a normal show? 
I'm just, you know what I mean. <laughs> is it a cartoon or is it live action? <laughs> Wait, is that even right? I don't even know. I don't do words correctly. <laughs> what I'm talking about, it's a normal show. Okay. I apologize. <laughs> for sounding rude. That was not my intention. <laughs> okay, so it's more live action, not animated. Those are the words I should have said. You're lurking? Okay, definitely 1000% look away right now. <laughs> but I have good lurks. It's good seeing your friend. I am into the depths of things at the moment. <laughs> Sup, Lurker? Snaggletooth, hello! How are you doing? Welcome on in. How dare you, sad music me. But thank you. That's a lot of heal. Yeah, how's the life? How's the things? I'm good, look at me showing up in streams I heard in Look at you grow. It's much appreciated. keep my health up while also just getting everyone up. Oh. Come on. No. Cool. Am I good? I think I'm good. We're good in this phase. <laughs> Proud of you. <laughs> PS high. <laughs> Yeah, welcome all in. It's good to see you. We're just offending MJ and calling anime not a normal show by accident. Oh god, it's top down. Oh, can I please find Titanium Alloy here? For the love of god, please. Cold or... <laughs> so you're offending me too. It wasn't intentional. Let me clarify here. <laughs> I should have never come here. <laughs> you offend MJ, you offend me. Ozzy. That's fair. <laughs> the end is near. Ah, <laughs> uh, tree. He's in. How you doing, bro? Oh, dear. Oh, yeah, I should be punching them if I don't. Pow! Silly me. M to the J to the pew pew pew. pew, pew. <laughs> no, I like him. I've been trying to get into more, or at least watch more recently. Like my current show that I've been watching and trying to catch up on was Demon Slayer. I also watched Chainsaw Man, so that one I'm caught up on. And that's kind of where I've been at. 
And then I did watch the new episode of Attack on Titan. That one episode that was like an hour long. I think there's only one episode left. I did watch that. I've been trying to get back into anime. I've been trying so far behind on it. Yes, thank you. I really needed that. Again, yeah, it's one where I might just grind for here instead of a one area. It seems we have been shut in. Oh, that's not good. As of late, I started getting to the point of like catching up on my game backlog that I've been doing off stream. And then stressing about it because I don't have enough time for it. And then having to do schoolwork and then continue and stress about it. <laughs> Even though it's out of my hand. In terms of backlogs. I need to actually just focus on a game. And just finish it. Instead of getting really into a game and then be like, oh man, this new game that I want to play is coming out, I should play that. And then just losing track of that game and then going into another one and just sort of like endless loop of starting new stuff and I just need to actually finish something. But yeah. If I like Chainsaw Man, you would probably like Ju Jujutsu Kaisen and want to keep an eye out for Hell's Paradise. Shield Hero is pretty good. Let me write these down. <laughs> so I'm not going to remember anything. Will I even remember what I write down? Maybe. These are good recommendations. Chu Jutsu Kaisen. Hell's Paradise. Okay. Shield Hero. I have noted them. Thank you. Yeah, I'm always looking for new stuff, so I'm kind of curious. Chainsaw me and threw me for a loop. <laughs> like, I've always heard the, uh... I mean, I've always heard the stuff about it. Considering... How uh, interesting the show is. And then when you actually watch it, you're like, oh, this is the plot. <laughs> Not what I was expecting. So those interesting shows that kind of blend in very weird scenarios with kind of a good message in the end, in the long run. I kind of dig those shows. <laughs> Like, there is, like, a good message in it, even though the purpose of it is really, like, obscure and kind of dumb. <laughs> but it's funny. Yeah, like, not dumb, but, like, immature, I suppose. But it's, like, funny. But there is, like, a hidden meaning in there behind all the stuff. I mean, you know what I'm referring to, but... I do like those type of shows, so... Yeah. I like the guy, Emmo. I love Jang Solomon so, so much. It's so good. And the music. The music got stuck in my head for a good at least like two, three weeks. It still kind of is. I kind of just want to drive home tomorrow and just listen to the music again. They had the soundtracks on Spotify, and I just I was listening to that like a good at least a good two weeks on Spotify, just listening to it. I'm like, this is good. This is good music. talking to Ace about it. Sorry, I know you're in work. Don't click. Um, we were talking about maybe you're rewatching it again. The Discord and like do it like a, like a little night and just watching it. 
because I really did enjoy it. I wouldn't mind rewatching it, even if it was like English sub. Because I, I did watch it dub. I know MJ has a very strong opinion on that. I don't know how many other people do. Actually, I think Treason does too. I'm learning a lot of people have a very strong opinion on it. <laughs> I've offended many. <laughs> but <laughs> I wouldn't mind going back and like rewatching it sub too. Like I like going back and watching those type of shows and I don't mind sub or dub. Like, I'm not bothered, bothered by either or. But I will say some shows are really bad dub. But Chainsaw Man was not one of them. That was actually kind of like a good dub. I watched it all in dub and some in sub. Some of the jokes are different in a good way. Yeah. And that's another thing, because you're trying to translate some jokes and if it goes into another language, it's like it might translate differently. usually less inspirational that's fair i thought it was really good in my opinion i thought it was really good folds a quarter i think it just collected the last weapon it's kind of steam achievement saying weapon collector sweet do not bring back the light do not bring back the vessel do not bring back the future do not bring it back so bring it back I want to see how, yeah. That's the same thing with Demon Slayer, because right now I've been watching Demon Slayer in English dub. Which I found out the main English dub, the main actor, the main voice actor for uh, Demon Slayer in the dub is actually the main character in this game. <laughs> like the younger, per the younger uh, version of him. So I thought it was hilarious. So I started playing this right around the time I started watching Demon Slayer. I'm like, why am I hearing this voice everywhere? <laughs> and then it dawned on me that I was like, oh crap, it's the same guy. <laughs> but, I don't know. That's another one I would like to... Rewatch. I like having the idea of rewatching and be like, let me rewatch it in a different language and just see how I feel. And I got retold about, I think I was talking to a so call. She was another one of our viewers. Um, good friend. But she was talking about uh, Sword Art Online. How she got had to watch it one time. All kind of forced into watching it. <laughs> and we we're kind of talking about how we enjoyed it like early on, but then we kind of felt like the show fell off. But we stopped watching it for two different reasons. Like I stopped watching it because I didn't find it as appealing as I thought it was going to be later on like the first season that I thought was good and then I kind of lost interest in the second season and her excuse well not her excuse I'm sorry but her reasoning was that uh, she no longer had to watch it because uh, the weekend was over and then she was able to get outside I believe something like that <laughs> the latest sword art is fire that's good I should probably give it another chance I should remember when I watched, I, it was years ago when I originally watched it. At least like, uh, it was probably like four or five years. So I don't remember much of it. I remember just watching the second season and not liking it as much as I originally did.
think it's the final one. That would make me more interested in watching and knowing the show's ending. Like if I know the show's ending, I might be like, you know what, let me just watch it <laughs> in its entirety. Like I would probably find that more interesting. Uh, I really should start using other stuff. Sword art, that one I wouldn't mind giving one more chance. And then always going back to other enemies that I've never watched, but I've always heard good things about. So, like, uh, the original Trigun, I kind of thought about. It's like one I knew about growing up, but I just never watched. So that's one I wouldn't mind going back to and be like, yeah, you know, I wouldn't mind finally watching it. And I know there's been like a new, like if there's like a, I don't know if it's like a sequel, I believe. That one I wouldn't mind giving a try. I'm just being safe here. I don't want to accidentally, uh, Get myself killed here. Oh crap. Okay, we're good. Kinda wonder if that's the last one. Nope. At least maybe one more. Every beam of light is an invitation invitation to death. Okay, cool. Great. I saw both the older one I saw a while ago, but I saw the ending to the new one today. Oh, nice. I'm assuming you liked both, or at least you liked the one. I was kind of curious if it just ended, so that's, that's good to know too. Also the art style for the original one, just, I mean, it's like nostalgia. <laughs> it's cause that's what I grew up to. So I wouldn't mind seeing that again, and then just randomly going into new art style. Uh, do I go backwards? Oh, you can see that. Well, it's surprisingly good. There's even a movie, I think. Oh, nice. That was the other thing that threw me off with Demon Slayer. Because I didn't realize until after I watched the second season. So I knew there was a movie. And then I discovered, I guess, this movie for Demon Slayer? If I got it correct. If I'm wrong, feel free to correct me. I think the movie's based off the second season? Or something like that? I might have gotten something wrong. But when I was trying to look it up, I had saw that the second season is literally just a movie. I think they did it because of COVID. Team is there so confused. Yeah. You mean like the show in general or just just like how the season so far? I will say the whole narration thing kind of throws me off sometimes, but I, I do remember getting accustomed to it eventually. Just like the way they narrate everything. You can watch the second season, second season episode by episode or movie. Yes, that was it. So I ended up watching it episode by episode without realizing I was going to do episode by episode and then be like, okay, let me check out the movie. And then I found out the actual movie was the season. So I was like, oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> So 
So I was like, well, that's that. Guess I won't get to watch the, uh... <laughs> Not watch, but... Flashy, yeah, watch. Watch the, uh, season. Or the movie. Yeah, I don't think there is anything different. To my knowledge, I don't think there is. Okay, they made the moving train into a movie, and then later recent episodes too, with a little bit more content than the movie. And... Okay. There we go. In the movie, they just released his last two episodes, I think. Of the third season. Oh wait, the movie they just released is the last two episodes of the third season and the beginning of the next. Dang. That's kind of weird they did just do the like that, though. Because you would think they might as well just wait and then release it. That's just episodes. It's, yeah, it's the same. that sounds like a cash grab. Because from what I've read, the second movie made sense, or the first movie, the first movie made sense because I think it was like a COVID thing, and then they just decided to release it as a movie first, and then episodes, I think, and then they just did that. The, the cat grabbed my cash. <laughs> That sounds like a cash grab, the more I read it though. That sucks. It's like one of those things that like, you really want to enjoy and then they kind of take advantage of you a little bit. Hey Misha, how you doing? Welcome on in. So I love the music. God, it's everywhere. Booger Train was worth it though. Next arc is out this weekend. Oh, is it really? I need to catch up. Well, I need, at least I need to catch up on. Because there is like a season after. Uh, the Mugen arc one, I think there was. I need to watch that one still. Still a cool experience seeing the fight in the theater. Oh, I bet the experience was probably amazing. But then I was also like, eh. <laughs> I hear Academia is better than most older, older animes. That's another one I need to get into. I always hear stuff about My Hero Academia. I know nothing about it. <laughs> you still need to watch Entertainment District? Yeah, uh, yes. That's the next one I need to watch. Maybe we'll get started on that tomorrow or something like that. I wouldn't mind doing that. Yeah, I finished the Mugen Train arc. Uh, it's curious to the ending, but... Yeah, I would say the one character... One of the... Uh, oh God, I forget, I forget. Why am I blinking on names? I need to watch shows multiple times before I start remembering their names. <laughs> I need to watch it now. Um, yeah, his English, I don't know, I forget his name. Uh, I feel like there's just so much left out of the character. Yellow hair, uh, fire dude. Why am I forgetting his name? I'm gonna shut up before I say anything else. His English dub though was interesting. But maybe a fit with the character. Oh crap. Uh doubles damage for things. Do that. He is annoying in all the languages. Okay, cool. Noted. <laughs> I wasn't sure if that was just the English dub of it. Or maybe he just had to sound annoying. So I, de I definitely felt it. I was like, why is he acting like this? Even though I kind of like the character, like the character grew on me. And then it's also just like, what are you doing, buddy? 
<laughs> ah. Bucks. Oh. Okay, I need to watch what I'm doing. Look at me. There we go. Yeah, he was, uh, I liked it. I liked this, like, annoyed at first, but then he grew on me and then things, obviously, but. Yeah, he was an interesting guy. <laughs> But yeah, I would definitely like to get into the inner team in our district. I need to get started on that one. I could probably easily finish it in like a day. <laughs> Shit, there's two of them. I give you more, but those shows could take a while. <laughs> like, just watch One Piece. <laughs> It'll be good for the next, like, three to seven years. Of catching up. <laughs> yes. Are you big on One Piece, MJ? I used to watch it. I definitely stopped about a decade ago. But I know that is your love one. I'm in the 900s. Wow. I mean, nice. Nice, but damn. Respect. <laughs> I just know that show is a major commitment. I think he has to be a bit much to make it. This sort of sleepy time Zend out power move feel special, you know? <laughs> a little bit. I'm a dedicated otaku. Respect. <laughs> now, I feel like I watched probably at least the first maybe 1500 episodes of One Piece years ago. Because it was on Toonami. I remember watching it when I was on Toonami. And I enjoyed it a lot. And I believe they stopped. And then I just never got back into it. I think it's because the dub failed badly when it was on TV. Like, it was not a very good dub, if I recall. That would probably be one show I would probably commit to sub. I, I could play One Piece on... I could play One Piece on Steam on stream again, but I still can't afford the new one. <laughs> oh, Odyssey. Yeah, I saw something today. I guess there's like a new DLC that came out today. Or no, it's available soon. I saw that on social media today. Or I saw it on social media. The social media is as the kids like to say. Um, I saw it on Twitter. When I got home, I guess they released, or they announced a new DLC for the new game. It's like one of those things like I follow along, but I definitely don't know what the hell's going on. <laughs> I'm just like, there's things happening. Oh, jeez. Like this. I wouldn't mind getting back into it one day, though. 
I feel like I always just start watching One Piece again and then start giving MJ my opinions and MJ's being like, uh-huh, 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 keep watching. <laughs> like, I validate your opinions, but you're 1,000% wrong. I need to power up my attack. Hard to fight here. Because the one anime, I mean, I'm uh, I'm probably gonna get rich for saying this. Uh, the one anime I always committed to growing up, and I still kind of commit to and support, just because I'm very biased with it. There's another one? Crap. Uh, I am kind of biased to Dragon Ball. I, I will always enjoy Dragon Ball. <laughs> Even Super, I really, really liked it. And I saw the new movie, and I really liked it. Even though it's mostly the same crap over and over again, but I still enjoy it. <laughs> I've always enjoyed Dragon Ball. <laughs> One Piece is like the IRL government too. They're a huge part of uh, everything and we know nothing about them. The government that is. Fair. I guess the running gag I always assume it's like have they found One Piece. Oh, they found stuff. All I know is that Luffy has like a million different forms and powers at this point. Don't know how that released everything, but uh, yeah. Definitely use all my kills. Nope. Dragon Ball Classic's my fave team in a way. <laughs> Even though the newer stuff, I do like some of the newer characters. Thoroughly. Please, no more. Thank you. The wave of bosses you have to fight there at the end. 10,000 experience points. 50,000 gold. A dreaming vessel and a recycled world. Until the time of its awakening. Oh, until the time of its awakening come. GG's. Yeah, the original Dragon Ball I love. I grew up on Dragon Ball Z, so. Is that all? Huh? Is that the final entry of the diary? It seems that way. Interesting. You figure anything out? I fear not. Yeah. I'm not surprised. Yeah, the original Dragon Ball I loved. I grew up on Dragon Ball Z, so I... Dragon Ball Z from, like, head to toe, I probably know. And... I enjoyed GT for what it was worth. It was just... Eh. <laughs> Said maybe for, like, the BB arc. BB arc was kind of fun. Everything else is just, like... Eh. It's also not canon, so it's like, whatever. 
And then Super, I've been enjoying uh, in some bits here and there. The movies they've done for Super have been really, really good. Yeah, I've been following the manga. That's actually probably the one manga I've been actually reading monthly. <laughs> has been Dragon Ball. Yeah, it looks like I think the manga is catching up to where uh, the movies and stuff are. Which sounds ass backwards because they've been doing the shows and the movies before the actual manga coming out. Which, to me, that doesn't make sense because it kind of feels like it should be the other way around. But considering where they stopped in Super, like show wise, who are you? More and more of our sons and daughters go out hunting and never return. What are we supposed to do? Um, they could easily catch up with. Like they could, they have like at least like a hundred plus episodes they could work with probably at this point. <laughs> of like a couple different arcs in the manga. There's a lot that's happened since. All right, so I think we're just continuing the story now because I don't know what else there is. To... I think I got all the weapons out. Let me just make sure I did. Pulls a cord. Nice. Weapon stories. There once existed a cursed weapon whose holder would inevitably be a violent end. Eventually, the weapon found its way to the mechanical automate, Automaton. That possessed no soul, and though it was a mere machine, the spirit delivered countless deaths upon it at the same time. Upon it all the same. Sorry. Oh. Sorrowful Prince. What if it has relations to Dragon Guard? Uh, hi, Devola. Hey. Devola. Oh, uh, hi. I kind of thought you'd never talk to us again. I understand you're doing this for the village, and that you don't have a choice. Pretty much, yeah. But look, why don't you go talk to Popola? I think she wanted to discuss the Shadow Lord with you. I'm headed there next. Oh, and Devola? Yeah? Sorry about yesterday. I shouldn't have lost my temper like that. You don't need to apologize. Anyone would be upset when their friends are hurting. Let Emil and Kaine know that we're sorry, all right? All right. So let's talk about the ending of the game then, shall we? <laughs> we won't. <laughs> Can't trust them. All right, let's see where we left off at. Popola? Oh, hello. Look, I want to apologize for yes. Stop. You didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, but neither did you. You're just trying to protect the villagers, and I jumped down your throat for it. Well deserved. It's very kind of you to say so. Reg Maybe. Ahem. <laughs> I believe there was something you wished to discuss with us. Oh, right. Yes, about that. You know about the Lost Shrine, right? The temple where I was first discovered. That's it. Well, it seems that the Shadow Lord's lair is connected to it somehow. Oh, oh. it was right under our pages the whole time. <laughs> so love the pun. But the bridge that leads there is unusable. So take a boat.
Sorry, I had something come up. Okay. A boat? Yes. The canal's finally been repaired. It took a lot longer than expected. But what with the shades and all. I also asked them to provide a boat at the path to the Lost Shrine's back entrance. The ferryman will let you use it free of charge. That should make it easier for you to move from town to town. Thanks, Popola. I feel like you've done so much for me. I'm really grateful. <sighs> all right. I'll see you around. And for the love of everything, be careful. This part that doesn't make sense to me. Why are they helping you? Even though you end up fighting them and killing them. That doesn't still doesn't make sense. I'm sure it's gonna get explained. And I guess we have to redo all these missions. The path above the entrance to the shopping district should lead to the boat landing. How okay. excellent to know the canal is finished. Hopefully this puts our days of running all over behind us. The faster we can move, the faster we can save Yona. Let's use it as often as we need. And then I also have the two... Is Devil is still up here? If not, I think I can get the other two side quests. No. Because I kind of just want to collect them. Oh, wait, no, there's one up here. It's this dude, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, man. I'm a What's the problem? I was distracted while I was cooking and sort of started a fire. Now I have to repair the kitchen and all my equipment. I can't make the repairs without a bunch of parts, but the only place you can find that much scrap is in the junk heap. Yeah, that's bad news, all right. You want me? You sure? You'll have to bring a whole bunch of robots and take it from them, so it ain't exactly safe. All the more reason to entrust the task to us. This won't be our first time in the junk heap. Just let us know what you need. Thanks. I really appreciate this. I need one memory alloy, ten titanium alloys, and ten broken motors. Got all that? Wow, that's a lot. But okay, we'll be back in a while. Okay, cool. Now I don't remember where the second guy is. <laughs> or what the mission was. But I think Devil I can give me the mission. I feel like it's in Seabright. Hmm. Doesn't look like I have any work for you. Yes, you certainly do. Where's the other one? <laughs> or maybe it comes up later. I don't know. Alright, so I only have five. It's gotta come up later. I need 15 more. Okay, so let's let's just do story stuff for now. I feel like most of the stuff we're doing going forward is just gonna be story. I don't really know how much more of like anything we need to do. <laughs> hey, look who it is. Remember me? Yeah. That red bag. I my pages. You're the slovenly half of that couple who refused to stop arguing. Hey, it's been a while. Sure has. I've been in charge of this canal since we last talked. Apparently I did a pretty good job with it because they decided to make me the permanent ferryman. Oh yeah, huh? Congrats. Thanks. Still, it's not all puppies and unicorns. The old ball and chain is always harping on me now about how much I work. Anyway, if you got a place to be, just let me know and I'll take you there. Where am I going in? Oh, the wash right. I do hope at some point if we can somehow change the story a little bit. Please get the annoying guy to live. <laughs> the Lost Shrine's up ahead, just past this cave. As well as the Shadow Lord's castle. Let us make haste. Sick. This is 
such a good remake. It's, or a remix, I mean. This is different. Gretel? Pencil. What do you want? Go away, dirty, defective swine. I'm not like you, I'm different. They're gonna make us start feeling bad for the bosses and add context with them? Oh no. <laughs> Yeah, we killed Hansel. Or I guess that's their names. I didn't realize they had names. <laughs> this game is known for doing this to you. This is a really nice re remix. Maybe I'll keep this on for now. I wasn't sure if I was like go back and turn it off. You again, stop bothering me. Written while Vice has been taken away. Hansel is dead. There's no reason for me to exist anymore. My life is over, just leave me alone. What? I... End up finding him anyway. <laughs> Ain't you excited, sunshine? We finally get to bathe in blood. Don't talk to me. <laughs> I want to kill so bad I can barely stand it. I do need to get my heals back though. Took a bit. What level are we? Still level 32. I might just keep going, so I don't think I really need to fight all of them. So that part is I do want to get my uh whatchamacallit. Yeah, I do want to get my level up and everything and we'll tack more words. I just feel like some of the enemies are weren't fighting. <laughs> I have to read all the puzzles. So yeah, push that out of the way. Oh, 
feel like I could just yeah, I'm pushing the door forward, so how can I open that? <laughs> do appreciate that your levels and everything do carry over. So at least when you're fighting these guys now, it's not as bad. Go. I think it is this way. So I think you have to go around this way to get to the round to the uh, staircase. Guessing you do that. Do this. I suppose I could technically like uh, shift this way, jump over and be done. Sweet. I was thinking of pulling it down, and I'm like, I don't think that's the right option. <laughs> uh Alright, this should go in. This probably goes down. So we're good here. And this probably comes out, goes down on the. I do kind of wonder if they changed the puzzles a little bit. Just like a little. Turn back. What's with these guys? Certainly not your garden variety shades. Their bodies aren't fully functional. Say, I've heard of this. A cursed area where incomplete shades gather. I was kind of hoping you would get the bias kind of. I suppose this will do. Just like have her use my weapons. <laughs> So I think what I need to do is take this out and then push this one in. There we go. And then this one, I want to get in the box. <laughs> I want the box.
And Neo, hi there. Oh, you're very weak. <laughs> I was hoping to listen to that. Yeah, so maybe some of these bosses I can kill really quickly now. I know there were some steam achievements for killing bosses really quickly, so I'm kind of curious if I can do that now. I feel like I should be capable of being able to do it. Like, if they still stay in the same level. I've treated you all poorly. I mocked you, betrayed you all because you went gestalt before the change was complete. After all this, I think I can understand you. I think we can speak as equals. This makes me very happy. I hope we can spend the rest of our lot. What was that? Oh, and that's when I opened the door. I'm the villain in this arc. <laughs> From now on, I'm going to sleep outside with you. Why? I can't accept that you aren't allowed in the village. It's stupid. So you're staging a protest? <laughs> Fun! Don't waste your time. But it just feels wrong. Well, that's really nice of you, but you still don't have to stay out here with us. Emil. You've got a super important mission. You can't sleep out in the rain. What if you catch a cold? But Besides, they do. I like camping with Kaine. Sometimes we sit around the fire and tell stories or roast. Neil, that's enough. <laughs> I got a fucking image to maintain. I respect the image. <laughs> I think I said that before too. <laughs> but still do. You don't ruin my reputation if you talk about all these nice things I've been doing. How dare. We seem to be surrounded by a mob of helpless puppies. Just kick him aside. I was starting to feel bad originally because Nier was. I knew Nier was obsessed with just murdering. But I get his reasoning as to why because they took his sister and family and everything away. So it's like... <laughs> Alright, let's do it. I'm gonna feel so bad for this. I feel like all the bosses are gonna be like this. Going forward, just like... Here's the boss. Oh, by the way, I make you feel bad now. Don't you touch them. Here we go. What's going on? There's dozens of them. Oh, I was just about to hit him with magic. These are creatures of the darkness. Lure them to the light. Uh -oh. Magic to the end, I see. Aim for that statue. It's the leader. All right, it's actually a lot stronger than I thought. <laughs> uh, Phoenix spare me. Oh, I can't hear him at all. I right, lure him to the light. Stop hurting my friends. I'm gonna start crying. It's actually kind of hard to attack. Oh, never mind. He is down for the count. For the time being. <laughs> Have you felled the beast? 
So we look at like a monster, but he's in size, like he's just misunderstood and wants to protect everyone. Those are my friends. Gosh, you can actually hear this stuff. Oh, that explains why she lived here. Serious? Move, move, come on, you stupid hard move. Oh. Boss never stood a chance. Just wanted to protect his friends. Maybe just up and murder them. All right. I'm Kine, are you all right? Kine. I fear there is little we can do for her. No, Kine. But <laughs> it's all over for you, Sunshine. Kine, Kine. Ah, <laughs> uh, so this is like Tyrant taking over at this point. Gasp indeed. It's, it's Kaine's shade. No other choice. We must strike it down. Kaine, come back. So I know this fight's not difficult. Yeah, it's like very easy. <laughs> oh dear. Grim more eyes. Oh wait, words. Gasp indeed. Kaine! 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 I... I couldn't hold it back. I can't be with... We're always going to be together, Kaine. If you transform again, we'll just stop it again. As many times as it takes. I don't care how tough it is. We're gonna get you back. I like sleeping outside because I'm with you, Kaine. I'm able to ignore my appearance and keep going because of you. I'm weak and I'm sad. And I'm lonely, but you make me strong. You're my friend, and I need you. So don't you dare leave me. <laughs> all right, all right. Stop crying. And thanks. I'm all right. Can I enter now? <laughs> Skip to the ending. This is where we get the seal, right?
Yeah. And who says this? Hmm? It's me. It's got some kind of writing on it, but I don't know what it says. How remarkably useless of you. Well, let's go ask Popola. I still don't understand why they help. I hope they clear it up eventually. It's I'm sure they will. Some kind. Can you determine its meaning? I think this is the key to unlocking the Shadow Lord's castle. Here, take a look at this. I wrote down all the words I can understand. This fragment is called the Stone Guardian. Given that you found it in the Lost Shrine, the words must mean something. There are spaces here for four other fragments as well. Sacrifice, the Law of Robotics, the Memory Tree, Loyal Cerberus. The Law of Robotics probably refers to the Junk Heap, and the Memory Tree might be the Forest of Myth. But as for Sacrifice and Loyal Cerberus, I don't have a clue. Not a problem. Hmm? If we want to fill in the words, we just run around the world killing every big monster we find, right? Oh, splendid. By all means, let us undertake a murderous rampage. Yes. They're just shades. Besides, it's the only way to reach the Shadow Lord. It's a dangerous task. Yeah, well, Yona's in even more danger. But how can you even be sure that she's... Because she is! Right? Uh. Hmm. The Junk Heap and the Forest of Myth, yeah? I'm on my way. Please be careful. They're the one thing. Oh, and listen. About Kaine and Emil. <laughs> Her first questions last, essentially, yes. The villagers know how much they've sacrificed, and they're thankful. It's just... They're scared, you know? People can't change overnight. I'll hurry them along the best I can. But can you please give them a little more time? I'll try. Novel mode engage. Not at the moment. Virtually not. Maybe at some point again. How are you doing, Safe? Okay, it seems like we're redoing a bunch of uh, story missions that we did before. Uh, junk heap first. Popola said we might be able to find a key fragment in the junk heap. Perhaps we can find a clue at Two Brothers' weaponry. Yeah. I'd rather go there anyway because I can at least gather some of the more titanium alloy I can use for collecting things. Safer. I'm good, thanks. Just got home, you. Uh, day's been good. My. Uh, oh, no, I've mentioned this earlier in the day. Uh, earlier in the stream, but. Uh, for those who missed it, nothing important, but. A little fun thing that happened. I uh, went to my supply chain department because I had to help them with like an IT thing, like webcams and stuff like that. And I love the overworld music list. Um, God, words. So I had to go over there, and then our president in the department was kind of lurking around there today. And he remember hearing about. Me getting a IT employee of the month for the for my company. So he was like thanking me and everything, and then he went and asked if I uh, got anything for it. And all we really get are like gift cards for like our company merchandise that we can purchase merchandise for, <laughs> and then like a free parking spot. So that was really it. So he turned around. Pull something out of his back pocket, turn back around, and he's like, oh, yeah, you also got this, too. And he threw a $50 bill on the table. <laughs> Which I originally told him no. And he refused other... He said, no, take it, you deserve it, blah, blah, blah. You know, you're a good kid, blah, 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 whatever. A flyer deal was calling me a kid. Um, he was telling me I was doing a good job, blah, blah, blah. You, you deserve it. Just keep it up, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's all the good stuff, so... Bribes, nice. Yeah, yeah sure. Get him. Don't let him escape. This is different. Are we gonna die now? My child. I see something over there. Yeah, he's a cool boss. I almost grow up now, child. Stay strong. 
You must run now. Do you understand? Run as fast as you can. What about you? I'll challenge them and give you time to escape. They're making you feel so bad. Let me say you'll remember your mother. Let's go together. So essentially, so essentially, what's going on right now is we got the first ending in the game, and we're going through other endings. And these other endings are giving you more lore and context to other things that have been going on, like other side characters and. Now, Shades, which have been the enemies in the entire game, and the only focus we've had in this game was Kill Shades. That was it, because they took your main character's sister, and all you want to do is rescue her. Like, that's the thing. So this game's kind of throwing it for a loop now, where it's being like, oh yeah, you've been killing all these Shades, but they're actually... There's things about them that you don't know about. <laughs> so now it's like, oh, Shades do have feelings and emotions and everything just like humans have been feeling and you find out some the humans if not most of them are just considered vessels from the ending in the first run and it's so dark <laughs> who's that oh this is the one that gets taken over I'm Khalil. What's your name? Military defense robot. G33. You are an intruder. You must be eliminated. Error. There is something leaking from your eyes. I'm crying, you big dumb robot. I miss my mom. What is crying? Who is mom? Doesn't matter. I can't see her ever again because she's dead. My creator is also dead. He perished. Hundreds of years ago. Hundreds of years ago, really? 874 years, 10 months, <laughs> 14 days, 4 hours, and 43 minutes. 44 minutes. Aren't you lonely? I am incapable of being lonely, or missing others, or crying. I'm crying because I don't want to die. You will die. If the humans catch me, they're gonna kill me. Why will they kill you? I will not permit the humans to kill Khalil. Military defense robot P-33 will protect you. It feels so horrible. P-33 is charged with defending others. P33 will defend Khalil. Oh, hooray. Thanks, Robot. And since we're friends now, I'm going to call you BP. Don't give it names. Get attached to those things. Man, there's got to be tons of machinery here. Yeah, but I don't know how much we can actually use. Oh, wow. Check this out. It looks brand new. Hey, be careful, all right? This place is dangerous. Uh, I'll be fine. Oh, no. Huh? Look out! Huh? Jacob! Oh God, this can't be happening! Jacob! Jacob! Uh, 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 uh. Huh? 
This is where the kid went crazy. <laughs> wow, that was scary. They didn't even kill his brother. This entire time he was blaming the the machines for killing his brother. His brother never even died from the machines. He killed his brother there. He never realized those things fell on top of him. The noise of the intruders caused the structure to fail. They should have proceeded with more caution. One intruder has perished. I think they were chasing me. They seemed nice. They're just misunderstood. I know getting in for the rest of his life is going to think machines killed him. Perhaps we should speak to the brothers. They might know something about this. Oh, hey there. It's been a while. You're the little one, aren't you? You've grown up. How fares your brother? My brother's been dead for four years. Oh, I see. Please forgive the question. It's okay. I need to ask you something. Did you watch all the new animes? I'm caught up on the current sub of Nier Automata. Uh, but it's been on delay for the last couple weeks because of COVID. So hopefully they. Hopefully this weekend they'll release a new episode. I'm thinking not because that, especially with the holiday, so maybe next week afterwards. Like the following weekend maybe they will. I know as of now, there's nothing. I, I am caught up on the sub. What is it? You heard any rumors about shades around here? Not the little ones. I'm looking for one that's unusually big and powerful. No, I haven't heard about anything like that. But I haven't really been listening. All I want is to destroy robots. Just rip them up. Uh, okay. Never mind then. See you later. Wait! Yes? I recently got my hands on a weapon. A very powerful weapon. I thought you might get some use out of it. Iron Will. Get another one? Don't we already have this weapon? Shh. These things happen the second time around. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of breaking the fourth wall a little there. This sword has seen better days. Yeah, it's pretty beat up. I mean, there's potential, but it's fairly powerless right now. Can you repair it? I can repair anything with the proper materials. If you'll fix it, I'll get the parts. <laughs> I'm so glad I decided not to throw this out. I'm gonna need some memory alloy. Only the real big enemies on the second basement level have them, so watch yourself. Also, here's the passcode to get down there. Use it on the elevator. You got it. All right, cool, I guess. So I guess this run's going to be about learning about the context and the backstory of the regular enemies you fought. And then just have that make you feel more and more... Oh my god, once we get to the one of the boat... Oh my god, it's going to destroy me. I might revert the music back. I don't know. <laughs> I did like that music. Oh, the bop. You already possess the following item, memory alloy. Oh. It's a shame about the older lad. It was but a child. Sweet. So I didn't have to go down there. Okay, ready? What's a ship? A large seagoing vessel that carries freight and passengers over bodies of water. <laughs> I remember alloy. <laughs> You're so great, you've learned so much. You have taught me much, Kalyu. 
You have helped to expand my vocabulary. You have instructed me in the ways of the outside world. Well, there's tons of stuff I don't know either. Maybe we should leave here and go explore the world. Because we are friends. That's right. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Just gonna murder them. Oh. Some pretty impressive stuff you found. I'll start upgrading your weapon right away. And since you did me a favor, I won't even charge you for it. Well, actually, this is gonna take a little more time than I thought. No sense in you waiting around. I'll send you a letter once it's ready. That would be great. Crap about that. So yeah, I go to the uh, forest and myth. It appears we have some free time on our hands. Okay. Popola said we might be able to find something in the Forest of Myth. You will forgive me if I seem less than enthusiastic about such a trip. I'm trying to remember what happened there last time. I know there were dialogue reading things. Can I remember if it was here? Or if it was just those first two times around. I forget what this one does. Like the next mission for it. I just want to speed my way through here. <laughs> like, we'll get over there. to experience again. I hear you. All right, let's give this a try. Oh, hello. How are things? Hmm? You want to know if anything unusual is happening? Well, I have been feeling a rather strange presence whenever I visit the Divine Tree. The divine tree. I do have to read. That's right. <laughs> it's a legendary tree that exists in the heart of our village. Did you investigate the cause of this presence? Not really, no. And why not? Well, we're not really supposed to go near the tree, except for prayer. <sighs> and why is that? I don't know. It's just how things have always been. Weird. All right, let's save. Leave this like reading I need to focus on. <laughs> so I'm not thrilled. I'll do it. All right, here we go. We are the grass, the trees, the woods. Hmm. Why do we seem to encounter nothing but odd people lately? You should talk, Vice. <laughs> As if Grimoire Vice is capable of spouting such nonsense. Hang on. I don't think it's done. It's the dark entity that governs all memories. May the words form themselves to your liking. Does that mean it'll tell us what we want to know? That'd be nice. Here we go. I don't know if this is going to be the same dialogue as before. I do want to move my head likely in preparation <laughs> before we start reading again I have a feeling this is gonna be you know just a little bit actually no, let's duplicate this real quick Let's 
So I have less to do later. <laughs> All right. Black, pure darkness painted over everything. Words scattered here and there across the blackness. Kind words, difficult words, ominous words. Oh, ominous? <laughs> All sparkling in the dark like jewels. The words were few now, but time was shorter. Grabbing the words in desperation, the tree turned to the sky. This is wrong, whispered the tree in the voice of wind through the leaves. This is not how it was supposed to be. The plan has failed. Once long ago, the tree had remembered everything about the world. This was its task, its function, its purpose. It shivered with something approaching joy as it collected the memories of mankind. This was no accident. Emotions were as much as part of the tree as root and bark. Memories collected like dew on the thick green leaves of the tree. And once they formed a web that spanned the entire world. Words collapsed into sunlight before passing through the leaves and into the pool of memory. From the pool, the words joined together to form colonies. Colonies united into whirlpools of light. And the, co the light coalesced into stars. Each star was like a child of the tree and I loved them all. Sorry, I can't read. Look at my memory. A child is here, brought low by disease. He is far too young to have suffered so. Then beyond words, the boy's skin is, sh is shade paler than the bleached sheets upon which he lies. His parents no longer visit him, for they cannot bear to watch him suffer. The doctors have long since surrendered his fate to the gods. I think we did read this one last time. The boy, too, has abandoned hope. Strange emotions, weariness, hatred, swell. Yeah, it sounds familiar. He tries to reject the black terror that germinates in his body, but no amount of effort or tears can drive the invader. He has long ceased to resent his parents and doctors once he did, but now his pain is so great that there is little room in his heart to think of others. Only one person brings the boy comfort, a healthy young girl with a tan skin and deep brown eyes. I wonder how this is going to change. Tan skin, deep brown eyes. She is a beacon of brightness and the light in the boy's world. Her very presence is a comfort to him, but he is unable to look upon her face. Whenever they meet, the boy is filled with loathing for his own state. Soon, this loathing gets away at what joy he receives from the girl's visits. The girl will stop coming. He knows this. His every weekend moment is spent in fear of this day. He thinks as if he could talk to her. If he could tell her of his feelings, this might not be so. But this conversation never happens. The girl disappears. The boy dies alone. The tree scoops up this memory and carefully stores it within itself. Etched upon it is a single word. Envy. Look at my memory. There is a female warrior. Her greatest enemy is a beast with red eyes that she cannot fully comprehend. As she strikes it with her sword, it turns into a pillar of salt and dies. But when the white smoke clears, the new enemy rises. And another. And another. Warrior knows her struggle is folly, but fighting the unending stream of enemies fills her with a sense of joy and purpose. Somewhere deep in the warrior's drug-idled mind lies a vague memory of a daughter. Perhaps the child exists only in her head, the dying remnants of a powerful dream that she does not know. Her friends and fellow warriors come and go, some flee in terror, some are even. She began the fight with 33 companions, but most are gone now. 33 brown eyes, tan skin. The warrior body shudders. She does not understand why at first. By the time she hears the fierce, low sound, the arena is already enclosed in darkness. Looking up, the warrior sees a beast so large that it blots out the sky. She is laughing. She has been doing so for as long as she can remember. Covered in blood and dirt, the warrior laughs. She laughs and laughs until the town that contains her daughter collapses into a pile of dust. This memory has been stored for a long time. It is etched in a single word, loss. Look at my memory. A red dragon falls from the heavens. Ah, oh, that memory has been lost. A shame. That was my favorite of mine. After memories, many centuries of existence, the tree saw that carefully labeled memories were beginning to dwindle. One seemingly infinite, the memories now seemed ready to disappear forever. The tree did not feel sadness at this grief. At this, grief was an emotion beyond its comprehension. It did, however, have a distinct feeling that something was missing. The mountain of memories had so carefully assembled had disappeared. The tree stretched its branches as far as it could, but new memories refused to blow. The pool of memories was a black, empty pit, a hollow place where life had once flourished. The tree had lost its purpose. 
There is something to be done but sift through the few remaining memories littering the ground under its branches. This is why the tree was pleased when the young man and his companion entered the room. Well, this place is gloomy as hell. The room I entered, the room Brab entered, <laughs> was almost completely empty. All he could see were a few crystals scattered haphazardly on the ground. He could have one of the crystals and peering into it. Brab suddenly saw a familiar sight. It was the forest of meth. It's villagers prisoners of their own dreams. I apologize, the tree thought. This is all that remains. As Breb stared at the jewel, bewildered, a voice suddenly called out from the depths of his mind. The voice implored them to listen. It was an order, following a mandatory. It was mandatory. Abruptly, the pair realized that they must listen. They must listen. Look there. A small shadowy presence appeared beneath, from beneath the floor. It appeared to be a shade. The shade grasped several jewels in its hand. More jewels tumbled out of its mouth like shards of broken teeth. Sights and sounds tinkling from each one before vanishing forever. The creature is abusing the memories, treating the precious objects like a collection of cheap playroom toys. The shade appears to be consuming the memories. These things eat memories. The tree extended the branch toward Breb. Without a second thought, Breb thought his, brought his blade down on the shade, tearing its stomach wide. Jewels burst from the shade and poured across the chamber floor. Look, thought the tree, there is the conviction memory I had lost, and satisfaction, and many others as well. Yes, this is good. The tree opened its mouth and attempted to speak, but no sound emerged. A millennium of silence and solitude. I caused the tree to forget certain things, but rather than be upset, it greeted the development with good cheer. Focusing all of its power on the riddles on the riddle of speech, the tree formed a kind of makeshift vocal cord and tried again. Ahem, I implore. <laughs> a spy out glimmering green jewel. One more time. I implore you. There we are. What was the color of the lost envy? What was the color of the lost envy? It was brown. Well, the eyes were brown. It spoke. The shade has intelligence and emotion. Who cares? <laughs> Breb brushed Vice's comment aside as the sword sliced through the shade's right arm. The shade extended its remaining arm to Breb. I must touch him. I must make contact. The moment its fingers brushed against Breb, the tree felt a warm sensation begin to burn. Something hot coursed through its fingers. It's up its arm and out of its entire body. There was emotion more than the entity had felt in centuries. The tree cried out in surprise and joy. One thousand years alone, one thousand years in quiet contemplation. The tree felt like it was going to break apart. For long centuries, the tree had been alone, its heart sealed with heavy chains, but no more. New powerful emotions began to take a hold, causing its heart to lighten. This was more than the simple emotions that had been designed to feel. It was the beginning of a soul. The young man was the key. This was the promise made long ago. This was how it would be released. The tree's stomach began to throb in pain, a new and an unpleasant sensation. At the time, it was not yet right. I implore you, how many were lost by the warrior who fought the red-eyed beast? It's 33. Okay, real time is over. I'm going to kill this stupid shade once and for all. Something round and shiny fell from the, op from the open stomach and clattered to the floor. It was a creep. The key, cried the buck. Secure the key. The man's sword slowed. Time began to dilate around them, stretching and slowing. Time is essential. The next word must be heard. The words exploded. It became difficult to, to discern their meaning. The pool of memories began to crack as infinite blackness burrowed its way into the wall. This is the world. This world is falling apart. How can a world of letters, I implore? Most important thing. World. You know? I don't think it mattered. The light was complete. The memories disappeared. <coughs> Excuse me. It's a lot of reading. <laughs> the tree's identity began to dissolve. As the layers slowly faded, Brad was drawn back to the real world. The tree was satisfied. All right, looks like I got a first try. Let's uh, switch back. What's in there? Need to check one thing. Okay. 
I never realized shades were capable of rational thought. I don't care if they can tap dance and play the fiddle. I just want to kill them without all this hassle. With the tree defeated, we no longer have to worry about being buried in its world of letters. Unless, of course, time itself begins to rewind. Hmm. Tree jerks. Okay. Good story time, GG's. Oh, what's next? Yes, yeah, checking the letter. Let's see if the junk heap kid sent us a letter. I never did check with Popola. I wonder if I need to. I feel like she's not gonna tell us anything. Like maybe she might tell us like brief dialogue and then just move on. The tree was not any different, however. Like the actual dialogue with it is to the T the exact same thing as far as I can tell. There's no difference with that one at all. The only thing it was different was the music because I chose it to be different. <laughs> Seems like whatever has a boss seems to be different. So I'm thinking the junk keeps gonna be different. Well, it is different. The Cerberus will probably be different. And then I'm guessing the boat boss is gonna be different too. I think I can think of. You have a letter, it would seem. So far, I'm at the upper area of the work weapon. I completed the weapons, ready and be able to pick up. Also, I have a more personal request. Okay. Personal request. Mm -hmm. He's done a lot for us. We should see what he wants. Off to the junk heap, then. That's up now so far pretty similar. Other than like the two bosses being a little different. <laughs> I am thinking this boss, the ship boss, and the Cerberus are all gonna be different in terms of uh, what they offer. Chunky. I was like, where am I going? Chunky. <laughs> I do, in a weird way, I do want to get my weapons upgraded. But also, I know not to spend my titanium alloys. I, I can't do it. <laughs> it's the one thing I'm trying to avoid doing. is ready to go. Great. Thanks. You know, with a weapon like that... You were going to say? I need to ask you for a favor. Oh, yeah? I want you to avenge my brother. That is a rather ponderous favor. It's my mission. It's the whole reason I've been creating these weapons for the past four years. I don't care about money. I only care about making a weapon strong enough to kill those bastards. Which bastards? The ones in the mountain. That little Shade and his robot. A Shade has joined forces with a robot? There's a Shade in there? Yes. <sighs> and what have we decided, hmm? We're gonna kill it. You've got to avenge my brother. Kill him. Kill that damn robot. Rip him up! By the way... 
What can I help you with? Oh, it always gets me. Destroy them. Murder. How can I help you? <laughs> All right. Like, nah, I can't do. Can't do. Can do. To rebirth. Uh, can do. Can. Anything else? Beast Lord? Can do. Vibrant Song? Yes. That's it for now. Like, these two I would like to. I'm not going to touch them, though. I don't want to go anywhere near my titanium alloys right now. Don't want to Come use back them. Soon. I can't do it. <laughs> Would love to. Can't afford to. Uh, let's see. I do at least have 54% of the words. That's, that's nice. Uh, let's see what else. Alright, so that's our good. Kinda wanna go back through the words. Yeah, we're good. Cool. And then in terms of weapons to use. Like, I wanna use Fool's Accord. That's a nice looking weapon. I think it is something to do with Dragon Guard, though. Like, looking at the style of weapon, I think the way that game is, it reminds me of it. It also explains the lore of it. <laughs> 715. Damn. The Phoenix Sword is what I would really like the upgrade. Fool's Lament. Those actually might be the best weapons. Phoenix Sword and Fool's Lament are pretty close. This is just very heavy. Right now, Beast Lord is my best just because it's already level 4. And then, sword wise, 245. Phoenix Dagger is pretty good. Fool's Embrace is good. Looks to be very good. So this is 245. This one's already better than my other one. It's just a heavy sword weapon. So for a one-handed sword, this is definitely my best one. Never really understood what the weight does. <laughs> Never, I don't think I investigated that further enough. Could use this for a little bit though. See how I do with it. All right, so we have to go through the junk keep and get to the boss. So, kind of like a normal route I usually take. It should only take me like five, ten minutes to get there. Not too, too long. Like slowly kind of realizing what the music might be. I'm just gonna go through here. Well, yeah, let's do it anyway. I just want to see if I can collect some items. Crying gold. I detect not a whiff of intelligence from within that clump of iron. Who cares if it's smart when it can smash you into a pancake? No mere machine can hope to prevail against our intelligence and skill. Wow, thanks, Book. I feel so much better already. Same. The book knows what's up.
Uh, let's see. Let's go down this hall. I'm just kind of praying that I can get at least maybe like one titanium alloy out of this. Like these guys. So I'm pretty sure they come from these small robots. It's just a very, it's a rare job. So it's like, good luck. Hope for the best. So if I can at least just get one, I'll call that a success just down here. And hope that I get another one from the P, was it P33, I think it was. Like the broken antenna is something full on. I can't grab it more. Game's like, nope, we got enough of those. Can't go either way there. All I can really do is hope that I get a random drop from these guys. This does not seem to be the case. Not at the moment, at least. Even in the boxes, maybe, if I just have them there. Just random drop. Well, a lot of these I seem to be getting uh, full on, like item wise. And this also does seem like the best spot for leveling. I always feel like I'm leveling up whenever I'm down here. Maybe it's just a coincidence. <laughs> I do feel like I probably gained like at least three or four levels. Just by randomly running through here and being up all the animals. But also definitely nothing from any of these guys, so maybe it's just second floor stuff. Or my luck is just bad. Could be one or the other. Or both. Alright, let's go down. Yeah, if I recall, I think... I think it's the ship after this? So the more I go through, the more I'm thinking I don't think we're gonna get an ending tonight. The I think we'll get close. Postponed his joy for the sake of his sibling. Do you think Dang. he was ever truly happy? Amber's fine, but... Just making his little brother happy would have been enough. That's what being an older brother is like. I was like, put the lyrics out of nowhere. <laughs> I was kind of curious if this is going to be uh, music from the chunk area in Automata. Unless I'm just not recognizing it, I don't think it is. But I will say this does make me feel grateful that I didn't spend a ton of time grinding down here. Considering we're just down here anyway, having to collect these items.
But I am liking this as the near Automata run. But though, ST and everything. Aw. Bring it back. Bring it back. <laughs> Please be a titanium, thank you. <laughs> Please don't be memory. <laughs> but yeah, my only fear is that I'm just gonna get a bunch of uh, memory alloys like over and over again, going down here. That's why I'm like crossing my fingers when I, anytime I kill those small robots, I'm like, please, maybe titanium. Actually, true. Can I actually go over here? Can I get one of them down? Like, I want to push you back a little bit down this way. I think this will work. Alright, you all are blowing up. You gotta push it back. Push it back. Alright, that's not working. <laughs> I would like to push them back this way. <laughs> I'll just get the other ones later. I got another one. Sweet. That's what I was hoping for. I'm like, I just want to get more of them. I think that's seven. All right, that one's broken. So I need to get like two more. Hello? Chef? How you doing? What does Sparrow do? Sparrow, hello. Jenna, hello. Friends, hi. How y'all doing? <laughs> Get bullied back, nerd. Oh. There's more bullying to come, my friend. <laughs> hello, how y'all doing? Let me pause for a second. <laughs> you don't understand. Once you bully, we bully t t two times as much. It, it, the bullying never ends. Quack to you too. I, and let me give you a shout out because I don't think we have mods here at the moment. Uh oh, room. And there we go. How is the how's the <laughs> supposed to say how's the quacking? How's the cooking? What we cooked today? And thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, I just blocked you, but all both of you. Yeah. Um. If those are just string, I'm bigger engineer. I'm a variety streamer. Uh, we're trying to push through the rest of near replicant, which I'm realizing there's a lot more left to do, which might require an extra week to play. <laughs> I thought I was close, and then I realized I'm not as close as I thought I was to the ending. And there's a lot more to do, but I've been enjoying it a lot. The game's been great. Uh, but we playing that. Uh, we took a small little break on Cyberpunk 2077. Uh, we have played the last Soul games on here as well, and some GRPGs and stuff. And we have a lot of good time. Um, yummy samak chicken and chickpeas with basmati rice. I hope I pronunciated all of that correctly. If not, my bad. <laughs> Thank you for the hydrate, Sparrow. I am into like later portions of this game, so if people have wanted to avoid spoilers, uh, feel free. Sumak, Sumak, like moo. Sumak, like mac and cheese. <laughs> Sumak, Sumak, it's gonna mess with me. Okay, Sumak, all right. I'll take it. Perfect. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you need to like rest or, or get foods or, you know, get drinks, 
or rest or stretch or walk or if we eat <laughs> feel free um thank you for trusting me with your community thank you for the raids i appreciate it it's a, it a good scene and all that other jazz but you know the things that streamers say that require attention after long streams of things do those things thank you appreciate it. um but yeah we're, we're kind of like head deep into the story at this point so if we don't want spoilers of this game i know jenna i believe might be playing this series at some point so if anyone else needs to avoid spoilers feel free uh I trash my kitchen every time. Hell yeah. <laughs> Honestly, kind of same. I trash my kitchen and then I get very lazy in terms of cleaning up because I really don't want to clean up. Yeah, but I was told I was told not to stream it because apparently I don't pay attention to storylines. Uh. Is that because of Ace? Or are you referring to my God of War comment from the Discord? <laughs> and why do I feel like the answer is going to be yes? Ace, but both. Okay. <laughs> yeah, for those that don't know the context. Uh, I was in the Discord with Jenna when she was playing God of War and there like a really big important story thing kind of happened. And I was like, can you believe that? And <laughs> I believe you pretty much told me like, oh yeah, I wasn't really paying attention. <laughs> or I got distracted because we were over talking, like we were speaking. So I couldn't really hear the dialogue. Or both. I forget what it was. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But I will say the game is very heavy on the story and lore and dialogue. And another note, just so when you play this game, and I believe Anamada did have it too. If you do stream it, you will have to read some text. <laughs> a lot of text. I probably, last stream I probably read about a good half hour, 45 minutes just of text. It was a lot. I was not expecting it. <laughs> There were like five people talking over so I was trying to read, but re reading with many voices saying go, yeah. Which makes me also think playing it off stream might be bad. Because I feel like you might be able to focus better on stream. Because you, at least you don't have voices in your ears, you just have, I mean, I mean off stream playing, obviously too, but without Discord. But like Discord compared to Twitch streaming, I feel like Twitch streaming would be easier. Because at least it's just text of dialogue you have to read yourself in your brain instead of voices are constantly in your ear. That's a lot for a game that's not word centric. It was like reading a novel. <laughs> Essentially. It was a lot of reading. <laughs> But it was good because it had a lot of lore and context and cleared up a lot of the story. So personally, I enjoyed it. It was a great read. Uh, but yeah, just for warning, because I know you weren't the biggest arm reading. <laughs> just, just to give you a heads up. You said I played it. Yeah, that's what I mean. I kind of figured you wouldn't. We would appreciate it if you did, but we would also, I think I would appreciate it if you streamed it too. But I would say totally up to you. Yeah, I do feel like if you do it on Discord, just be like certain moments, just be like, deafen. <laughs> speak I'm not listening to anyone. But the lore and everything is really, really good. I enjoyed it. And going through the lore of this right now, 
I don't want to say too much without spoiling really anything, but it's kind of like you're revisiting things and it's clearing up a lot of stuff you didn't really realize and it just makes me feel even more, more depressed <laughs> or I just feel horrible for the things I've done. <laughs> I was just deafened the whole time? Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I don't want that. But it's like things have happened, you revisit them, and then they give you more context with it, and you're like, oh, I might feel like a villain. <laughs> in some cases but it's also you don't really understand certain things that are going on yeah it, it makes you feel like crap <laughs> or it makes you feel bad in terms of the actions that have been performed after revisiting things game's great though I will say though, going through this more and more, I do think going through Automata first is definitely the better option. I think we've said that already before. Even though this is technically a prequel to Automata, prequel second for sure. Is that we kill them both. Oh, it's like sad thing. Also, just forewarning, I think a boss is about to come up. So, just figure let you know. A lot of story stuff. I think like going forward, it's just constant, constant story stuff going forward. Yeah, it's about to come up. It seems we have found the entrance to our robot friend's hideout. Right, let's head down. Are you mad? We've no idea what lies below. Beats going the long way around. Come on. Fair. Fight, win, conquer. Ruin lives. Onward. Here we go. Time to be depressed. Well, damn. All right. Looks like we've got Good lord, it's enormous. Intruder detected. Scanning. Scanning. Exterminating. How dare you? Do you beep 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 him good? Shade. That thing is commanding the robot somehow. Aim for the legs. Knock it down! Take out the shade! Alright, take out what? You gotta clarify for me. Like, tell me you attack one thing and then you go for another. If you wait, that's enough. You're going to be destroyed if you keep fighting? Oh no. Can't live without you. No. I don't want to be alone again. No, damn it. That 
It's a shade. It's a shade! <laughs> Kill him. Kill him. Feel the hate inside you. The whole context is that you're kind of living it through the girl that just spoke kind of like side of it and you don't realize she can actually hear shades where your main character can't so he just thinks shades are these evil monsters and you just kill them which in hindsight they actually have emotions and feelings and i suppose kind of known this entire time i never told anyone <laughs> So now you're kind of reliving it through her side. I love this song. Stop. Now you've done enough. Oh. Where do you think you're going? All right, he has no HP left. <laughs> Nothing. Stop, beep. He's my best friend in the whole world. Stop hurting him. So wrong. Oh, and then he just splits into. Oh. I kind of wondered why this entire time there was a weak shade on top of him, and now I'm like. I'm sorry, I'm not strong enough. I wanted to be with you forever. Conflicting and misunderstanding. <laughs> Beautiful. What a perfect example of humanity. Uh. Hey, come on. That's enough. <laughs> I did it. Now that this goddamn thing is dead, I can forage wherever I want. Just wait, you goddamn freak. Now I can make all kinds of powerful weapons. Just leave it to me. Leave it all to me. <laughs> I really do feel bad for the kid. Oh, man, he's lost. Look, we get it, okay? Really. 
Like he thought the machines killed his brother years ago, and it just turned out they were just witnesses to his murder. Madness will never heal a wounded heart. Maybe it's just all he's capable of right now. Revenge is a fool's errand. That's a great quote. <laughs> yeah, I know. All right, guess I have to come back. Yeah, I think I did the same thing last time. Uh, yeah, what's next? I think Popola? Also, how many titanium alloys do I have? Seven. Oh, I need to get another memory alloy. Damn it. <laughs> so I gave my- Maybe Popola has found some information about the Shadow Lord. Let's drop by the village. Very well. I gave mine away. Because... <laughs> of uh, the quest here, so I no longer have it. Oh, this is different. You know, I've been thinking, why was a shade hanging out with a machine? It appeared the creature was actually issuing orders to that mechanical minion. Do you think the shade had a reason for what it did? Actually. <sighs> Look, it doesn't matter what a shade is or isn't thinking. All that matters is that we kill every last one of them. Right. Sure. The idea of a shade trying to protect a robot is goddamn absurd. Still, you guys should be careful. What do you mean? If the shade inside me ever takes over, I'm probably going to attack you. That's not gonna happen. You are no shade. The lad is correct. You are many things, hussy, but a shade is not one of them. Shades, for example, do not come equipped with such foul and scurrilous mouths. How about I cram your face up your own asshole, book? <laughs> don't worry, Kaine. If your shade ever takes over, I'll stop you. You will, will you? <sighs> Thanks, Emil. Actually, I think we did hear this dialogue before. I'm just kind of curious why it's... In a cutscene, though. Know? Sorry. <laughs> Didn't mean to make that noise. Find the Popola and we'll do the next mission. Brad me and your friend, guess what? He's a king. I wish I had some friends. Oh. Yo, no. Hey, hi, Popola. Learned anything new about the Shadow Lord's key, Popola? You know, I was just going to talk to you about that. You remember the Airy, right? That depressing shell of a village? Not so much anymore, it sounds like. I just got this letter from the village chief. Have a look. I forgot about this. Our greeting soon in your village. I hope everything's going well. Our village has shut itself away from the world for far too many years. We have to have side. Okay, yeah, we might look it up. Sacrifice? Isn't that the name of one of the key fragments? That's right. I've been trading notes with leaders from every town in the land. You're amazing, Popola. Hmm. This entire affair strikes me as a bit too convenient. I'm afraid Grimoire Vice is correct. What do you mean? <sighs> the Airy has been shut off from the world for years. And now they've not only opened trade routes, but they freely exchange information about the Shadow Lord. I agree. It seems rather unnatural and dangerous. You're overthinking it. Besides, I don't care if it's dangerous. I won't get Yona back by just sitting around and waiting. If there are shades there, I'll just kill him and be done with it. Oh dear. 
Well, if that's the way you feel, I guess I won't stop you. Try speaking with the chief when you get there. I wonder if that's her purpose. She just wants nearly kill the cheese. She doesn't care how. Maybe that's his reasoning behind everything. Yeri, huh? All right, let's go see the chief. What a soul-crushing place. All right. To the Yeri. Hello? Angus, hello. How are you doing, friends? Welcome on in. Hello, hello. What are you doing? Stratosphere, hello. Pause for a moment. I'll give you a shout out. Your mods are away at the moment. How are you doing? How are the things? How's the portal, too? Oh, yeah, wait. You were playing with uh, Number. How did it go? Why do I get a feeling numbers by the way? Feel bad for missing it, but how did everything go? How were the games? How were the things? Uh, for those who are joining us too. Uh, I'm a bigger engineer if you don't know me. I'm a variety streamer. I'm playing some, I freaking knew it. <laughs> I was just saying, I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> Up all stays, you're good. Just me, well, never mind. <laughs> uh, friends, hello. Ace, hello again. Stratosphere, hello again. <laughs> Angus, hello again. Jank Weaver, hello. You're not my real mom. Fine. Watch and listen. See if I care. Uh, my brain is on fire. Brain's on fire? From playing Portal 2? Which is because of just like planning things? I hear twice I'm dead. <laughs> GG's. Uh, hello friends. Like there's a mod now, just when I was gonna cause chaos. Sparrow hide. Uh, Jing does have that daddy energy. <laughs> Phrasing. Daddy Weaver. First time doing a co-op and first time playing Portal. Nice. I want to play Portal at some point. Probably within the next month or two. Portal's definitely up there in games I want to play. Like the first one. I think that's my plan after I finish Cult of the Lamb. Uh, but yeah, I've been playing a lot of Near Replicant. I was kind of hoping I was going to finish it this week. I don't think I'm going to. <laughs> There's a lot more to do than I realized. So I, it might be like another week of this, which is totally fine. Um, but yeah, we've been playing some uh, Near Replicant. And we've also been doing some Cyberpunk 2077, but I kind of put that on the back burner until, because I just got really committed to this game. And I really want to finish it. So we're, we're making our way through this game. Uh, we're making our way, making our way downtown. And uh, playing near, we're playing Cyberpunk. We recently started Cult of the Lamb, which we're going to be playing Saturday as well. So if you feel like joining uh, a cult, feel free. Hang out then. Thanks, Ace. <laughs> Join the cult of Brab. It's called the Bakery. <laughs> That's what was voted upon. John Goodman. Cyberpunk should be in the near future for me. I'm excited. Cyberpunk's a... I've been enjoying it a lot. I got it when it came out, and I was one of the many, many victims of playing it and then realizing, oh, this game is extremely buggy, and I should probably hold off. So I held off for like three years. <laughs> and then I decided to play it, uh, I guess it's been three, four weeks ago, I think I started it. And then I realized 
it plays perfectly fine now for the most part. I'm like maybe small bugs here and there, but it's pl it's definitely a playable game now and it's a lot of fun. I've enjoyed a, a lot of it. So I'm like, I want to say like 25 hours into it now. I was really enjoying it. It was great. It's been great. Really good. Join the cold. What? Join the coven. No fam. Join the oven. <laughs> yuck, 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 yuck. Um, I would recommend Cyberpunk. It's definitely playable now, and it's a lot of fun. And the story and everything with it too, really good. I'm enjoying it a lot. Just like Nier, I just got more committed with Nier because I was like, I've been doing Nier like a once a week thing and I really just want to go into it. <laughs> so I'm committed. <laughs> okay, I lurk and replicant now. Okay, enjoy your replicant Ace. Yeah, Ace is also playing through this game off stream and I'm a bit ahead of him at the moment. So get wrecked Ace. Um, but he's playing catch up, which he could very well pass me soon enough. I have flowers to tend to. All right, see you in like three hours. <laughs> no, it's not that bad. It can be bad, but good luck. <laughs> Chaos time. Yuck, 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 yuck. I'm also gonna lurk. I have to find a room that isn't as hot as this one. Spicy. Oh, really, really fun puzzles. Nice. Good job, Nupa. Um, Yeah, so if anyone needs to, you know, lurk, get things, food, hydrate, stretch, uh, walk, sleep, blink, 182, do wash your machine, whichever you need to do. You know, the off stream things, feel free. Um, but thank you for the raids. I appreciate you trusting me with your communities. I'm sorry. I'll leave the room. <laughs> but yeah, if you need to do anything, feel free. Um, thank you for trusting me coming in. Uh, we will get back into the story now. Uh, last worrying days. Spoiler stuff. So, or warning. I'm so modest. Good. They must have truly opened their minds. Doubts. Aren't you glad to be going back home, Kaine? Huh? This is a shithole. So nervous, we'll protect you. I got me taken care of. Worry about protecting yourself. So for those who are joining us and are kind of curious, we're kind of through our second playthrough of the game. The game has multiple endings. I don't know how many, but I know there's multiple. We ended up getting the first ending. And we're working our way through the second ending. Uh, but it's making us replay through some bits that we've already done. But it's giving us more context and lore behind it. I think we're about halfway through it. Ooh, the village. It's home to so many terrible little memories. Isn't it, Kyle? <laughs> shut up, shut up, shut up! And I feel bad for Kaine. So the area we're about to go to have a lot of really, really terrible things happen to uh, one of the characters. And we had to revisit it. <laughs> it was never really mentioned all that much in the original playthrough. Desire. Now this is new. We do not desire needless conflict. If we can continue to live with humans, then we can continue to live peacefully. But the young man will come. Yes, the young man will come. He will kill us all, women and children included. What should we do? What can we do? Okay, so this is where Kaini used to live with her grandmother. I guess that's all that's left is the Yes. I'm kind of curious. It's about to come up here. Turn 
terms of story, I know something bad's about to happen. <laughs> you don't have to be modest when you're right, though. That is fair. And right. Alright, which way am I supposed to be going here? Oh, I'm supposed to go up. What am I doing? I think I need to get down there. Thought it was that way. Yeah, it is that way. What am I doing? Everyone will perish. Everyone. So that's all the same. I'm too scared to trust anyone. Tutorial on um, teamed unlocking the collecting materials? What? You. I know you. Probably referring to Kaine. So, oh, I'm jumping ahead. Yeah, I need to talk to the chief first, then I go down here. I like the music here. Kind of feels nostalgic a little bit. Is he up here? Yeah. So they don't have to deliver the flower or whichever like I did before. Uh, Thank hello? you for the hydrate. We're here from Popla's village. It's all over. We came to ask about the letter you sent. Our days are numbered. Our village is doomed. As cheerful as ever, it seems. You're the one who wrote the letter, right? I... I don't know about any letter. What is going on? It may be faster for us to take our inquiries elsewhere. Let us ask around. Someone must know something. Yeah. Yes, I have to go down there now. And then we get a nice lovely little encounter after that. Gasp indeed. <laughs> Quite the gasping situation. All this somersaulting would break my spine. <laughs> I could stop. I can just keep going. <laughs> Make sure you stock up on necessities before heading out to hunt. Yeah, what did I need from you? Nothing. <laughs> Maybe I will buy health though. Come back anytime. Back any time. Welcome. We've got some new items in stock today. I definitely do it when I play games. So if I get to roll, I'm rolling. <laughs> to me, it's like Zelda games specifically. Come back soon. Plays Ocarina of Time. Maybe that's where I'm getting the nostalgia with this music at the moment. From. But especially with that. Why not fill your garden with flowers? Okay. Uh, I have a lot. We're good. I wish roller jump. 
weapons may not be the latest. I think I bought them all. Yeah, we're good. Thanks. Yeah, I have all the weapons, so I'm good on that. All right, cool. Nothing to do here. A letter, huh? Yeah, I think I heard something about that. Yeah, if so I have an option to roll or jump, one thousand percent. Maybe I don't. I'm not sure. Ah, which is it, man? Oh, uh, and if I may ask, are you friends of Kanye? Say that. Ah, I've heard the rumors. Here to hunt shades, are you? Indeed. Our aim is to defeat every last one. Is this guard the one guy from the story? Every. Every last one. Everyone. Everyone. As long as it's in third person, first person would make me feel ill. I can see that. Vice! Beware. This man is a shade. It's a trap. I figure this much. Oh, they just drop health you sounds. Sure anyway. taking your goddamn time. A thousand apologies. We were distracted by the local welcoming party. Want some help? A carnival of murder. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Kaine, the villagers are possessed. But not all of them. Some are still human, so be careful. Yes, yeah, so be careful not to kill the humans. A meal. It's up here we need to go. Yeah. I can't tell Get out of here! No way! I'm not gonna abandon my own sister! Jump around wildly or roll around, never just walk. By this lady. She's a shade. Is one of them now. I don't care what she is. She's my sister, and I love her. And we're down. <laughs> Again. I just wanted to love our lives in peace. Stop it! Don't hurt my sister! You monsters, you possess the monsters. It is you who have lost your humanity, you are the true monsters. These people are behaving as if we are the villains. You are the cursed ones, you're the ones who should die. Away. I blame you for all of this. Let's 
trying to punch the armor off. <laughs> oh, that didn't work. Punch me off. Yeah, it seems like they all have the same level in HP. They're just What's happening? Same as before. I was wondering what makes it a little different. My pages. Is this beast a shade as well? That thing sucked up the villagers. No! If we keep this up, we're gonna kill them all! We can't let that happen! Our village, our world. Where am I? Who am I? So before we never got this context, just more of that. Is this the combined power of all the shades? It will take more than a barrage of magic to stop us. The first oh wait. Uh, Clint. Ever is the first to die. I sense magic coming from the center of that eye. Oh, I can't even. <laughs> okay. Oh, it won't let me do any more damage. For story purposes. Wait! I think those are actual people! Hold nothing back. Those are shades! Yeah, the game it literally won't let me do any more damage. <laughs> so you're going too fast. I think Emil's supposed Emil. to distract him. Get behind. Oh, I'll keep it busy. You oh, one more. should be able to attack from behind. Go around and get it. Please, hurry. Emil can handle this. We must circle behind the creature at once. Moving and moving and moving and moving. You must strike it in the eye. Yes, yes, yes. I should just keep shooting. I was I think just shooting would probably be faster. It is escaping to the inner level. Okay, now we gotta move. Gotta catch my breath. Down there? Yeah. Careful. Help anyone who leaves you here. Damn it. Oh boy. The hell out of that thing. How can it still move? Its combined powers are beyond even my greatest suspicion. 
So it's saying it's very strong. Alright, I think we're good. There we go. GG's. Just me. Hello, Sultan. Things have taken hold. The ultimate weapon is being deployed. Madness. The oh, fuck. This ain't good, sunshine. But in May. Yes. <laughs> Uncontrollable magic. I have to protect people I love. That was the only thought I unleashed. I thought as I unleashed the power, magic powerful enough to destroy not only the shade, but everyone else as well. I think I need to move my head. All of them. So many innocent lives. Okay. Destroy. Eviscerate. Crush. Wait, let me just move my head for a sec. I don't know how much dialogue we're about to go into, but let me just move. <laughs> kill these are the dark impulses that overwrite all other thoughts as a being that was created to be a magical weapon these are my instincts or maybe it's better to call them our instincts emile's dream rampage oh okay we're about to read a lot <laughs> a klaxon sound from deep within the bowels of the laboratory. So we're getting a meal backstory. Thick metal shutters dropping down. Drop down, sealing off the room with a series of dull metal thuds. Abort the experiment. Number six is out of control. Everyone get out of here now. Get out of Get out of Get out of He The researcher's words are abruptly caught as a massive hand materializes out of gloom and lifts him high into the air. The researcher begins to scream. He screams and screams, the sound echoing off the walls of the laboratory until the hand squeezes down, coating the room in a deep crimson hue. The rest of his colleagues stand in silence, mouths open, unable to process what they have just seen. Then the female scientist takes a step back and lets fly with a heartbreaking wail. But this is a terrible mistake, for the sound of her cry suddenly brings forth a monster in all of its terrible glory. Its body is bloated corpse its head a grinning skull and it's a massive and it is massive many times the size of a human the head lulls from side to side as it tromps about the room with all on all fours bring into mind the wild maneuverings of some wretched starving beast this creature this thing is exper experimental weapon number six i think that's emile's sister that we fought yeah also known as halua no, oh no, please stop. 
Oh God, save me, save me. I don't wanna die. One by one, the maddened cries of the researchers are silenced. Great acting, I know, thank you. If number six understands their petitions, it pays them no heed, instead continuing its rampage of destruction and slaughter with a focus on borders on obsession. After eternity, the screaming stops, the alarms fall silent, and only then does the creature make a sound howling with an unfathomable roar that echoes up and down the empty halls of the blood-soaked laboratory. It's a sound that curses those who have dared bring such evil into the world. And yet one of that also seems to be pleading for help. Ellipses. Two sets of footsteps echo in the otherwise silent corridor of the first level of the laboratory. One belongs to a young boy, his eyes blindfolded, his hands restrained. The other belongs to a severe man. A se wait. The other belongs to a severe man in a long white coat. The man drags the boy along by means of a long chain attached to the to a set of shackles on his wrist. Rubble is scattered here and there across the floor of the corridor, making the journey an exceedingly difficult one for the boy who cannot see. Uh, excuse me. Could you please walk a bit slower, sir? Might used to be a blindfold again. <laughs> Rather than stopping the old man, the the man only increases his pace, causing the boy to stumble in an attempt to keep up. This last humiliation proves too much, and the boy finds himself unable to arrest his fall. Without the ability to brace himself, he topples to the floor, smashing his head his head on a pile of debris and causing a trickle of blood to warm its way down his pale, frightened face. Agonized by the pain, the boy inadvertently opens his eyes, causing the falling drops of blood to emit a strange crackling sound before transforming into tiny white rocks. Close your damn eyes, roars the man. Yes, sir, stammers the boy as he slams his lid shut. He hadn't realized the blindfold had slipped off during the fall, and now he keeps his eyes squeezed shut so tightly that sparkles appear against the black of his vision. So, for context, the boy with the, the boy with the blind is a mule from the beginning of the game. Uh, this is kind of like his lore before then. Uh, his eyes petrify everyone he stares at. So whenever he opens his eyes, he just petrifies people. He's like a Medusa. Which is why at the beginning of this ending, or the second playthrough, uh, Kaine was in stone because she was already uh, stared at by a meal <laughs> with his eyes. So that's context to who the boy is. It's just a meal. Obviously his dream. Oh, by the way, the boy is a meal. <laughs> I probably should have waited a couple more seconds before the story actually told you who it was. Also known as number seven. He's a magical weapon whose eyes are capable of turning into to stone. Anything that falls under the gaze. Don't look at me, barks the man. Never look at me. I'm sorry, sir. I'm looking at the ground now. So if you just hand me the bullet. Instead of waiting for him to finish, the man extends one foot and presses Emil's face to the floor with a heavy black boot. Sir, stop, you're hurting me. I told you to keep your eyes and your mouth shut, so do it. A man knows this boy, this weapon, to wipe him out with a single glance, and yet subduing him in this way gives him a sense of relief. After making concern the boy is sufficiently cowed, the man leans down, retrieves the blindfold, knots it tightly around the boy's quivering head. Right then, on your feet, let's move. Emil staggers to his feet, trying to ignore the red liquid oozing down his face. The blood doesn't matter. The pain doesn't matter. All that matters is finishing the job they had set out for him to do. The second level of the laboratory is even worse shaped than the first. The environs are littered with rubble and rock, making the thaw of a descent foothold the laughable. The man's eyes linger on a section of the rubble, sustained a deep red. He has a sudden image of warm, gooey brown slathered in a strawberry sauce. 
His stomach lurches at the thought, but when he attempts to avert his eyes, they land on the remains of a human being rendered into what could only be described as peace. The man blinks, his mind strange goes strangely blank before attempting to determine exactly how many humans had to be sacrificed to create the scattered piles of flesh around them. After a moment, his thoughts simply cease altogether, as if his mind realizes that trying to push trying to put such a thing into the form is folly. You can go rest on the way. Words. You can go the rest of the way on your own, says the man in a voice such much weaker than he wishes to be. I mean, what does it matter? You're not even human, you're a monster. With this, the man spins around and dashes back to the hall. Back, back down the hall. A helpless Emil simply listens as the footsteps of his erstwhile captor fade into the distance. Emil finds himself alone in the room with a stench of death and blood. For a moment, he considers opening his eyes, but the thought of the horrors that await him quickly squash this, pain, this plan. And instead, he stands still and listens intently. Eventually, a far-off sound reaches his ears. That's the howl I heard before. Emil resumes walking, using the sound of the distant voice to guide him, almost as if it was calling him home. By the time Emil reaches the third floor, he is moving on a memory as much as sound. His hands and face are covered in fresh wounds from numerous falls. But every time he thinks about giving up, his mind returns to his sister. We studied together. We ate cookies together. We cried together. We laughed together. And sometimes I was the only one who got yelled at. That's why I was never alone. Our being together allowed me to stay strong. For a meal, his sister is all he had to live for. So holding the feeling close to his chest, he presses on one slow step after the other. Finally, Emil finds himself drawing close to a certain experimental chamber in the deepest part of the laboratory. The howl is very close now, and as he touches the switch that controls the door, he thinks about his mission. Number six is, is the ultimate weapon. She is his sister, and he must turn her return he must turn her to stone. The door slowly opens, revealing the massive interior of the experimentation chamber. After a few steps, Emil removes his blindfold and slowly opens his eyes. His sister lurks before him, but she looks nothing like the girl he once knew. Instead, he sees a savage beast crawling on all fours through the shredded remains of researchers. As the thing that had been his sister stops and tilts its head in Emil's direction, he focuses his gaze on it. A series of soft, crunching sounds emerge from the creature as its magic does its terrible work. First the fingers, then the hands, arms, legs, head. What little color the beast once possessed fades to a dull, ashen gray. Yet somehow it summons what strength remains and pulls itself toward the meal one slow, lumbering effort at a time. Wailing the massive monstrosity closes in. Is she worried about him? Or is she coming to kill me? Emil feels prepared to accept either outcome. Oh, excuse me. I apologize. Uh, Emil feels prepared to accept either outcome. After all, this was his older sister, the person he loved more than anyone else in the world. Alua, I. The moment Emil speaks, number six comes to a sudden halt. Silence descends on the chamber as the siblings stare at each other. I'm sorry, hello, but everyone says you're too powerful. They say it's too dangerous unless I seal you away. I'm so sorry. As Emil watches her body begin to turn to stone once more, number six simply waits in utter perfect silence. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The mo oh God. I was worried about a white screen and text. <laughs> The moment number six's petrification is complete, her memories flood into a mild The two of them huddling together in the cold, all alone in the world with no one to protect them. All she wanted was to save her little brother. Yeah, it was the little brother who, in a sense, saved her. The moment the petrification is complete, Emil sinks to his knees. A frozen sister and a little brother racked with sin. Alone in this cold cage, the two of them weep in a single silence. Sees. 
It was our combined power that destroyed the Airy. Whole existences, entire lives, even their memories. We took it all. We took everything. My sweet, gentle sister turned into a monster. The same thing will happen to me now that I have her power. If my instincts as a weapon went out, it would destroy me in the process. If that power ends up hurting someone I love, I... saved us. If it wasn't for you, we'd all be dead. We owe you. But, but I... That's all right. People do it all up. <laughs> we had best be off. Yeah. Alright. Let's go ahead and save. Uh, where do I go? Popola? Uh. I think it's the. I think the ship is next. Might try saving. Well, could try it. See if we can get through it. Maybe Popol has found some information about the Shadow Lord. Let's drop by the village. Very well. That's just a lot. <laughs> At least it wasn't like uh, the beginning of the game. <laughs> but I gave you like a clear understanding, I guess, of uh, how Emil got his powers and I guess what he was thinking as he was murdering. Or not murdering, but. His thoughts on when his powers got unleashed there. In hindsight, he was just thinking about his sister and himself. Well, not becoming what his sister was. So say. Just now I'm never gonna make proper turns. <laughs> Always gonna crash into walls. Yeah, I'll start with the Popola first and we'll figure out what's next. I think it is Seabright. I think I might save for next stream. Let's see though. Hey, Popola. Ah, you're back. Have you learned anything more about the Shadow Lord's key? I'm sorry, but it's going to take me some time yet. I see. Well, can I take something off your plate in the meantime? Hmm. Oh, how about this? You know the ferryman with the red bag, right? Well, he's been skipping out on work lately. Can I ask you to go to Seafront and check on him? Sure thing. So yeah, we gotta go to Seafront for that whole mission. Maybe. I was trying to think, maybe I, yeah, I could possibly do it. This feels alarmingly familiar. I'm sure that couple is merely having another one of their inane spats. Let us do our utmost not to get dragged into it this time, hmm? Or... 
can get dragged to it. And then just deal with it. Because that's an option. <laughs> Which we are going to have to do. Yeah, you know what? Let's at least do this. I want to do the fairy bit. I do know what's after. Don't have too much more. Is there anything like the main story that I'm with? Oh, nope, nope, there's more backstory. Yeesh. I should I expect that? I don't that. think I've ever seen fog this thick before. Huh? What's that? One thing I thought maybe I should see this really start. <laughs> this might take a bit. Yeah, because I know we have to go talk to her. Then we have to get a couple other things settled. Yeah, you know what? The Yeah, I think it might be best. At least just to make sure. And I think at least for next stream, I would like to f finish this ending. Kind of figure out what's coming up afterwards. I think this might be the best bet. Hold off for now. Yep. I think we'll do that. Alrighty. So we are going to wrap here for now. Um... If you're still here, lurking, hanging out, whichever, uh, thank you all for being here. I really appreciate it. If we still have a mod or anything that's in the boot, we can do it. <laughs> or if anyone wants to, uh, or I'll drop break calls in a second, but if anyone wants to, feel free.